Okay, guys, look, we need to talk. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be on this video not agreeing with me, you know what I mean? This is an unpopular opinion, and usually when opinions are unpopular, there's not a lot of people that agree with you, and I understand that. Now, if you do have something to say, make sure you say it in the comments so I can make another video addressing you, all right? But whatever you say, please, don't make it dumb, please. Thank you. Now, back to what the video is supposed to be about. I think Pixie needs a chain. If you guys don't know what Pixie is already, Pixie is a four pip life spell that does 550 healing to everybody in your team. Now, if that doesn't scream overpowered to you, I I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's literally the number one best healing spell in the entire game. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say like, well, what's your fix for Pixie, Smoke? Are you gonna nerf it? Or are you gonna increase the amount of pips that it costs? No, 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 no. The reason why I think Pixie is so overpowered is purely because of the fact that you can have Pixie on any wizard in the entire game. You can be an ice wizard, death wizard, fire wizard, storm wizard, and you can have Pixie. I think that in itself is entirely overpowered if it was up to me i would have made pixie a life only spell and not be able to be obtained on other schools the fact that you can get this on any other school pretty much puts life wizards down in the dirt you know what i mean because any school can get the best healing spell in the entire game what's the point of a life jade anymore you know what i mean a life wizard is supposed to be the number one healing school in the entire world but i can have a death wizard with 130 out going out pixie on that guy and i'll just be just as good as a life wizard you know before pixie we had rebirth and unicorn which neither of those spells you can train unless you are a life wizard before pixie life was the number one healing school and then pixie comes along and everybody can craft it life goes yeah boom in the dirt now don't get me wrong i think pixie is a wonderful spell i really love it and i use it like all the time on my death wizard however before pixie ever came along i had to really find a strategy for my death wizard to be able to use aoe healing spells just as good as a life wizard and i found that more challenging and at the end of the day more fun on the actual game. The fact that anybody can go out there and get a Pixie with high outgoing just irks me and it makes me feel bad for life wizards, you know what I mean? In my opinion, the whole premise behind a life wizard is to be the ultimate healing school because of course, their life, they have rebirth, they have unicorn, they have, wait, they don't have Pixie. Everybody has Pixie. In my opinion, I think Pixie should have been a card that only life wizards could obtain through a quest uh, to actually get the card at like level 140 or something but you know it's kind of too late for that the game has already introduced treasure cards and the ability to craft it and they almost every single wizard has pixie so i mean you can't really do that now so what are we gonna do with pixie you know what's the fix for pixie so life wizards can have their school identity back and, and making uh universal jade classes for every single school in the game because they have pixie and jade gear a thing of the past all right I've done a little bit of thinking, I've done a little bit of rough drafting for the last five minutes, so this might be a shitty idea, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Here's my fix. Keep Pixie the same way that it is. However, we change certain aspects of life school that enhance its healing. Things such as radical or primordial or even cycle of life, we can use these things to make life school better than other schools that are also jade. For example, we can introduce a new enchant that's only for life that adds a 300 to 1 heal spell. You guys might be like, but you know, a plus 300 healing as an enchant is super overpowered, especially for life wizards. Okay, now let's see if I can fix that. Maybe we can make it cost 1 pip or 2 pips. For example, if there's a 2 pip card in a game that's called Super Radical that increases the healing of a card by 300, it will increase the pips of the card required to actually use it. For example, how Nightbringer and Daybreaker work. If Pixie costs 4 pips, you add on super radical which adds on two pips of pixie now pixie costs six pips however it heals for 850 another thing we could do is add super cycle of life which is a aura that pluses your healing by 40 percent however it removes the power pip and it removes the incoming death damage maybe make it cause one or two pips and make it last for six rounds life only spell both of those changes would purely only buff the healing of life wizards and make a jade life wizard that much more valuable in battle versus a death or an ice or a balance or a myth or whatever jade wizard you have i 
feel like it would bring back to life school identity as a healer versus the second best jade school which death is first because death can heal just as good as life and also has bad juju version play blah 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 so yeah while i was thinking i was also looking for a fix for seraph here's what i propose for seraph decrease the 25 percent outgoing to 10 percent outgoing and remove the absorb on heal in exchange while you are in seraph mode every time you heal you also give your team a heal over time that is equivalent to 50 percent of the heal that was casted in order to trigger the effect now let me say that slowly for the guys in the back. For example, if I am in Seraph mode and I use Pigsy, which is a 550 heal, let's say it's enchanted and I have some boost and I end up healing my entire team in Seraph mode for 3000 health. Since I am in Seraph mode, I will give a heal over time to my entire team equivalent to 50% of that 3000. So... I heal my team for 3,000, and then I put a heal over time that is equivalent to 1,500 over three rounds. I feel like that's a lot better than Absorb. However, it is kind of overpowered, so that's why I decreased the outgoing by 10%. And maybe we can increase the incoming damage by 30? I don't know. But yeah, I'd rather have a heal over time versus an absorb because the absorbs really don't help in any situation. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any disclaimers or anything you don't like what I said or any ideas you have of yourself and you just want to tell me, make sure you guys, you know, just say it and, you know, down below in the comment section, you know what I mean? Express yourself. Do, 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 do. You know what I mean? Express yourself. Go for it, my friend. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace out.